triggerfish. How's it everybody? Today we're going to be talking about a group of fish more than a specific species itself. Um, we, much like we did with the mullet, because there's such a lot of similarities across the, all the species and the genera, we're not going to actually involve a single one species because it all sort of applies across the board. The species group we're talking about today are called triggerfish. Now, there are about 20 species in South Africa. There are a few more common ones that we catch, but just to try and limit it down to one or two is going to be very difficult because of all the things. They're very similar to what they call foul fish as well. Have a look it up, we'll get into that at some point. Now, triggers get their name from their dorsal spine. They have a little bone that sits underneath it that they can actually cock their dorsal spine up like that and the bone locks it in place. So you can try to push that down on the top of a triggerfish, you will not budge it. Um, also their pelvic fin can do the same, they can pop it out like that, and then it's a very, very rigid uh, fish. Their overall shape, they generally uh, flatten across, almost like my hand shape. They are um, quite thin this way, but obviously very broad that way. Various different colors, their skin, because of the the scale, scales that they actually have and how tightly they pack, their skin is incredibly, incredibly tough and it makes them, people often call them boots as well because of that leathery type of skin that makes it incredibly difficult to get to. I've been told the flesh is very, uh, very tasty. I've never experienced it myself and yeah, the, the effort of having to sharpen your knife 10 times while filleting it is not really worth it for me. Your, it's quite, they've got quite a smallish eye and a very small mouth for their size but in that mouth itself they've got either uh, plates sometimes or well, teeth that have been fused together or very very strong short stubby teeth now their jaws are incredibly strong often when you catch them you hear them go as they they're hitting their teeth together pumping their jaws obviously to deter predators um, and they use that to for everything that they're feeding on so triggers feed on almost anything with a, a hard shell that's what the teeth are for so your crabs your mussels any other bivalves um, little polychaetes uh, any starfish bristle stars things like that anything that it can uh, go in and bite and munch on they also like eating baits um, you'll catch them on the reef and all sorts and you get them in various different sizes they are quite an intimidating fish once you've caught them because they very very rigid I mean, so it's almost like a like a plank and with those spines that are sitting up like that and that, that mouth is clanking all the time like that, you don't want to get your finger near there because I've seen hooks that have been bitten in half, wire that's been bitten through. They have very, very phenomenal uh, front teeth. You also get the puffers that are similar, but that's a different story. But yeah, these, the triggers themselves, phenomenal species. They're surprisingly strong for their size. Um, they know how to use their tails and they're generally quite a slow moving fish. So they'll just sort of scoot along um, in any of the habitats. They inhabit everything from your shallow water, not estuaries, but your shallow water all the way out to slightly deeper deeper reefs. They have become quite a renowned fly target. So because they're quite picky and the way that they, their hard jaws and their teeth makes it very difficult to hook them. So the fly guys have now started targeting them in places like Alphonse and things like that. And on the flats they they're quite skittish, so you have to really, really know what you're doing to be able to get close enough to him without spooking him, but still getting something in front of him that he can eat and you can actually set the hook on. But they are fly destroyers. They, they kill anything and break it off with those teeth. So be prepared to have multiple flies to replace. Good job. Guys, that's the triggerfish. And uh, the whole group, as I said, about 20 species, but they're phenomenal species to catch, a lot of fun. Cheers.